The embedded IT support team for the generation department has a unique set of challenges. The team, Generation Applications, reports to the corporate IT department but directly supports and is co-located with the generation, administrative, and project teams. For the GA team to be sustainable long term, they need to build the trust of both generation and IT. Unfortunately, due to the historical lack of transparency that the team has provided into their work, their resource allocations are being reviewed and their general usefulness is called into question. We will review this process improvement through three different phases. Identifying the improvement opportunity, planning and implementation steps, and finally, phase three, evaluation through completion metrics. The generation department has no way of knowing how much new work they can request of the GA team. IT has no way of knowing at what capacity the team is operating at and whether they are adding value for the business. Work is requested by the generation staff and few updates are provided until the work is actually delivered. The problem is the lack of visibility into the work of the GA team, which prevents assessing the value added by the team and ultimately realizing that value for the IT and generation departments. To better understand the problem, we will begin with a five whys root cause analysis, of which we reached level three. Our first question is why are the generation and IT departments unable to realize the full value provided by the GA team? Well, the team is not able to present a schedule of their planned work. They do not seek stakeholder prioritization when new work is requested. The most recent requests become the most important. And they operate without a comprehensive view for either of their key stakeholders. Our next question is, why is there no comprehensive view of the work being done by the GA team? The work coming into the team cannot be properly reviewed because it is not properly tracked. Luckily, the team is in a good habit of entering their individual tasks and linking them to code that is checked in into the source control application. However, there is insufficient metadata added to the tasks to sort, filter, or graph them in a way that is meaningful to upper management. A final question, why is work not being properly tracked? When the GA team was assembled, it was for the purpose of building a particular application. Once the application was completed, it required support. Meanwhile, the new project work was being requested of the team, and the team evolved from an application development team into a full departmental support team, but their processes have not caught up. There are no formal processes for work intake. Only the now obsolete task level approach towards their work management has ever been adhered to. Additionally, there is no systematic grouping of work items other than team members filtering the assigned to field to review their individual work. An analysis of the GA team's work intake, management, and delivery processes will provide additional insight into the problem. Through the use of a check sheet, we reviewed a sample of work items from the GA work management system to determine if they had contained sufficient information to group, schedule, and measure the volume and timeliness of the work being completed. We examined six critical values over 10 work items. The result was that only 38% of the critical fields to proper analysis were completed correctly, and at their best, properties were only filled in 50% of the time. We should assume that these numbers can improve, and with their improvement, the necessary data will be available to present an accurate picture of the volume and timeliness of the work done by the Generation Applications team. The process improvements that are to be undertaken are meant to improve the experience of certain key stakeholders. Completing a stakeholder analysis 
will help to win the support of the stakeholders by better understanding them. We do this through three steps, identifying the stakeholders, prioritizing the stakeholders, and understanding the stakeholders. The main thing to understand about each of these stakeholders is that delivering power to the company's customers at an affordable rate is their primary goal. Fortunately, there is little personal agenda involved, and after interviewing each of the stakeholders, it is clear that overall they want what is best for the customer and the company. This will hopefully mean that they will be satisfied as the GA team works to efficiently communicate that they are producing work at a rate and with the volume that adds value rather than just being an additional expense with nothing to show for it. In phase two, we look at planning and implementation. Even though there was a lack of visibility into their work, it was generally assumed that the generation applications team was producing quality work from within. Their task level details were all captured in their work management system, Team Foundation Server, the TFS, a Microsoft product. Project management was supplemented with spreadsheets and informal communication. This process improvement effort is intended to strengthen the quality of the team's work item entry into TFS and be able to show that work in a meaningful way to stakeholders, in a way that is interconnected with IT, generation, and corporate goals. What was meaningful to the generation stakeholders was when were they getting their work delivered? Is the team working on top priority items? Is the team continuing to churn through operational support and medium to low priority needs within the business at the same time? The theory is that through key adjustments to the process done thoroughly and consistently, all stakeholders would benefit and be able to see their needs met. Implementation of these process changes will require a detailed strategy. This strategy will most likely will be mostly based on the Six Sigma DMAIC methodology. Going through these well-established steps towards quality control, variation in the process can be reduced. These variations lead to unplanned work and work that is outside of any assessment and tracking. The DMAIC methodology is much better fit than other methodologies that are geared towards high volume manufacturing processes. Our process at hand is much less focused on defect rates and risk of failure and will benefit from a more iterative process methodology like the DMAIC. Several different business functions will also be impacted by this action plan. Developers, business analysts, the team manager, and director and senior director level management. To manage implementation across business functions, a series of check-ins will be established with the various groups. Weekly developer level work backlog grooming and review meetings will take place as well as weekly meetings with the IT director to review any issues with the project level work. There will need to be monthly meetings with the generation senior director, a weekly or as needed touch base with all of the generation department directors to capture project concerns and priority changes. Lastly, quarterly roadmap reviews and strategy sessions with the IT director and senior director of generation will be valuable communications. The duration of the implementation of this process change could span two to three quarters depending on the level of engagement on the part of all involved, as well as regular work that competes for priority. That said, it is important to identify at a high level the critical path milestones that need to take place and their timing, which we have outlined here. In order to communicate the process improvement plan to all of the stakeholders, the project team will refer to the stakeholder analysis to determine which stakeholder will require the closest attention. The idea will be initialized with stakeholders with informal communication from within existing communication channels. There is already a trusted and open dialogue consisting of regular touch base meetings that provide a perfect opportunity to propose this process upgrade. 
The later stages of the communication plan introduce the newly upgraded work item data strategy and reporting. The communication plan begins at the GA team staff meetings. We rely on this team's desire to remain where they are and to not be redistributed or let go from the company altogether. Communications continue with one-on-one -on -one meeting with the IT director and the one-on-one -on -one meeting with the senior director of generation. The next stage with these groups is planning and resource questions and then a kickoff meeting. The entire project is about improving the communication process between the functional team, their manager, and the director level. The communication plan directly addresses the goals of the process upgrade because it eventually becomes the, the upgraded process itself. For the final phase, we will evaluate the success of the project based on certain key metrics.